Hello everyone! I'm Thomas and I welcome you. On this channel, we will delve into the heart of Catholicism, exploring the stunning architecture, rich history, and incomparable art of Vatican City. From the majestic St. Peter's Basilica to the Vatican Museums full of treasures, we will discover together every corner of this sacred place. Ready for a unique and inspiring experience? Subscribe now and join me on this incredible journey through the Vatican. Hello everyone. I'm Andy, the Globetrotter. And today, I will accompany you on this wonderful trip through the Vatican City. Are you ready for this new adventure? Don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to explore new adventures with us. Now, let's go! Vatican City The Vatican City, officially the state of Vatican City, is a sovereign landlocked state whose territory is an enclave within the city of Rome, Italy. The capital is Vatican City. Religion, 100% Catholics. What is spoken in the Vatican? Official languages, Latin, Italian. Although the Vatican City does not belong to the European Union, it is legally linked to the Italian state. Therefore, its official currency is the Euro, and it can mint its own currency. The Vatican has a temperate Mediterranean climate, much like Rome. It experiences mild, rainy winters from September to May and hot, dry summers from May to August. The Vatican City is an incredible mystery, don't you think? Now let's go to your current situation. Come on! Current Affairs in the Vatican City It is a non-democratic state, governed by an absolute and elective monarchy, led by the Pope. The economy of the Vatican City is financed by contributions, known as Peter's Pence, from Catholics around the world, as well as through the sale of postage stamps and souvenirs to tourists, museum tickets, and the sale of publications. What to visit in the Vatican? The Vatican City is a must-visit in Rome. There are three places to visit in the Vatican. The Vatican Museums, the Sistine Chapel, St. Peter's Basilica and its dome. The Vatican is a microstate with only one restaurant and the food is very similar to Italian cuisine. Whoa, I love Italian food. And to you? Now, why don't we go to the curiosities of the Vatican? Come on. Curiosities of the Vatican City. 1. It is the smallest country in the world. Perhaps you already knew, but did you know that there is no other country smaller than the Vatican? It has an area of 0.44 square kilometers and a total population of about 900 people. The Vatican is so small that only St. Peter's Basilica and St. Peter's Square occupy 20% of its territory. 2. <laughs> Exorcisms in the Vatican, more common than you think. <laughs> Father Gabriella Morth was a Vatican exorcist who, over his 60-year career, performed about 100,000 exorcisms. 3. Vatican and Nazis, a relationship that still embarrasses. There are many dirty secrets in the Vatican, but one of the most notorious involves the Nazis. It is said that Hitler himself had a close relationship with the seat of the Catholic Church, so much so that every year he made a substantial donation. 4. Vatican citizenship by birth does not exist. Although Vatican citizenship exists, it is not acquired by birth, it is only granted to those who work in the microstate and serve the Holy See. This citizenship is lost when one stops working there. 5. The Swiss Guard, one of the Vatican's icons. One requirement for joining the Swiss Guard is strict adherence to certain criteria. For example, being between 19 to 30 years old, measuring over 1.70 m, being a Swiss citizen, being Christian, and having completed basic training in the Swiss Armed Forces. Each new member is sworn in on May 6th, the anniversary of the sack of Rome, and must adhere to a strict code of conduct and loyalty to the Pope. It is the smallest army in the world, comprising only about 110 soldiers, led by the Pope. 6. A name with pagan roots. In the times of the Roman Republic, the area on the left bank of the Tiber River was called Ager Vaticanus. According to the Roman writer Varro, the name derives from the god of childbirth, Vaticanus, whose cries of newborns were said to be heard on this hill. 7. 
a necropolis beneath St. Peter's Basilica. In ancient Rome, burials within the city walls were prohibited to prevent diseases. That is why catacombs and necropolises were built outside the city limits. Beneath the current St. Peter's Basilica lies one of these necropolises. 8. St. Peter's Square over a chariot racing track Incredible but true, beneath the Basilica and St. Peter's Square lies a colossal chariot racing circuit built during the reigns of Caligula and Nero. It was here that the first state-sponsored martyrdom of Christians in Rome took place after the Great Fire of Rome in 64 AD. Among the martyrs was St. Peter himself, who was crucified upside down. 9. The Obelisk Brought by Caligula Let's start with something spectacular. In 37 AD, the eccentric Emperor Caligula decided to transport a 2,000-year-old obelisk from Heliopolis in Egypto adorn his chariot racing track. Yes, this 4,000-year-old obelisk is the same one we can see today. Well, this was all about the trivia. Now let's go back in time and go to its history. Come on! History about Vatican City The Vatican City, the world's smallest state, is the seat of the Catholic Church and the residence of the Pope. Its history dates back to the 8th century when popes began to reside on the Vatican Hill. For centuries, it was subject to territorial and political conflicts, but in 1929, through the Lateran Treaties, it was established as an independent state under papal sovereignty. St. Peter's Basilica, St. Peter's Square, and the Vatican Museums are its main attractions, housing some of the world's most precious artworks. The Vatican City is a significant religious and cultural destination that attracts millions of visitors each year, and its role as a spiritual and political center remains relevant today. Well, this was all about Vatican City. Now let's get to some questions for fun. Come on! Thanks for joining us on this journey. Yay! I hope you've enjoyed the blend of history and charm. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and, of course, subscribe for more adventures. See you at the next destination. Bye for now.